Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome to the fastest way of unlocking your free Fortnite rewards in the Rocket League event, Llama Rama. So when you're on here, all you've simply got to do is go over to your challenge section and you will see the five challenges you have to complete to unlock your in-game Fortnite rewards. Now there are some crazy tips and tricks you can do to do this as fast as possible, which I'll get into in a second, as well as there are five or six in total, but the sixth one is only Rocket League, the other five are Fortnite and Rocket League rewards, and you can see what you have to do. The first one is play free matches. You've also got to get 500 points in total of online matches which is done in them free you've also got to get five centers or clears in a match which is pretty easy as well as get five goals assists saves in online matches we'll show you how to do that the best way as well as play one online match in an extra mode now one thing that's interesting about this is my challenges didn't load when i first loaded on if that does happen to you don't worry they're still being counted just simply reset after the game and they should load in for you it could happen at any point so just to let you know you can reset for that anyway let's jump into this and show you guys how to play free online matches very quickly. Don't forget, while you're over here ready for season three of Rocket League, head over to your item shop, hit the top right corner, your right trigger on your chosen device, whatever the button says, support the creator, and enter in code postboxpar to your Rocket League item shop. I'm a hashtag Epic Games partner, and this really does go a long way. So thank you anyone considering to support me on the Rocket League shop as well as the Fortnite shop. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, roughly 80% of you guys watching aren't subscribed. So please consider subscribing. It really does go a long way and keep you updated with all legit Fortnite content. Okay, so to start with, the fastest way of completing these matches is going onto a 1v1, which is the game mode dual which you can see i've done right here you can either do this in ranked or non-ranked and the reason i'm saying this is the fastest way to get your challenges done is because you actually leave the game three minutes in which means the games don't take five minutes they only take three minutes and if you don't get any goals or don't let them score a goal you're basically getting a nil nil and that's the fastest way of doing it you know i'm always thinking of the fastest way of doing these things and i did my challenges in 15 minutes maybe even less because i found the fastest way of doing this which was insane so simply i start off i'm actually just reading something on my phone right here and the guy does score a goal which isn't the end of the world because to me i'm only trying to play three minutes of this game and then get out of here and do the same again and on your final game you want to play on a different game mode which is obviously going to be the extra game mode which i'll show you guys as well this is the most efficient way of doing this by the way as long as you get a few goals a few saves and stuff in the solo match in the first three minutes you don't have to you could do that in a, the other game mode the last one if you're quite a decent player but if you're someone like me a brit well a really rusty rocket league player because i've not played it since the last Fortnite collaboration you know I used to be really good at it but right now I'm really bad at it so I'm simply just popping around bobbing around on these balls and basically trying my best to get a few goals and a few assists and obviously I'm not going to get assists in this but you only need clears goals for these challenges so simply I'm just going to be rocking around getting a few goals and I'll show you a few of the highlights in these solo games so I'm about to score a goal right now and in total you need five goals or five assists or saves now you should get all of these in the solo in the two solo games in my opinion i think you'll definitely get the saves if you want to sit in there and you'll definitely get the goals if you focus the goal there's another goal as well for me i got a few saves in between here and i've already completed that challenge got two goals a bunch of saves and we're basically set now, now as i wanted to do these challenges as quickly as possible i decided to leave the game right now i probably could have come back if i wanted to because this guy wasn't that good but i decided you know what we may as well just back out of here it's completely pointless playing this game because i've just conceded another goal right there and it's time for me just to get one game ticked off my box so there was one now let's go into the second game and show you guys exactly what I did in here. So this time I searched for competitive 1v1 because it actually puts you with even newbie players because I've not actually played it this season. Again, I don't really concentrate through this game because I'm reading stuff about the challenges and what I have to do next, mainly focusing the challenges. And this player, again, wasn't the best of players. He's probably about the same ability as me, maybe less from what I experienced in this game. But, you know, I'm just chilling, just trying to get goals, just trying to get my goals ticked off. Hopefully I get another goal. As long as I get a third goal, we are basically set on the goals and we've done the goals in the solo game. So then all we've got to do is wait for that three minute mark again or that two minute mark around there and back out it's usually around the two minute mark two minute ten two minute twenty is a perfect time to back out and you can basically back out so let's skip to that bit we've already done our goal well we've basically almost done our goals we got some saves as well last time so that's the five goals and saves done so all we're going to do now is just leave the game you can see i actually forgot to leave on the last goal i'm just trying to leave and there we are i've actually left the game nicely he scored a bunch of goals which is fair enough it doesn't really bother me in this situation again i'm not going to be playing rocket league much this season i'm going to be focusing on fortnite 
Fortnite content, but yes, there is my second game boxed off. So we've already done all of our goals, we've done two of our games, and there's only one more game to play to complete the rest of your challenges. Also, we've scored over 500 points, which is going to come in really handy as well for these challenges in both of them two games with the saves and the goals that I scored. That's my total of 500. So we've already done three of the challenges, and there's only two more to do, and that's get five clears and centers, which you could have done in them games, but most likely not, and also play an online match in an extra mode, which I'm going to show you guys how to do right now. So it looks like my goals didn't count all of them, but that's okay. We can get a goal this game, and it seems like my clears and centers did count this time. And if you don't have the skill to be able to play out only three minutes of the game and skip the time, then obviously you can play out the full five minutes and play extra games if you need to. I'm just trying to speak the best way for someone that's like sort of my ability, decent at Rocket League, you're okay at it, and you're ready to go. But simply go over to the extra modes, which you can see here on the play screen, press on the extra modes, and you're gonna need to play one of these. Now these are all ranked playlists, but that's okay. You just gotta play one of them, select one, and you are off to go. Now I'm going to change my preset and try out this new DJ Yonder hat type thing. I want to see what it looks like. It looks a little bit glitchy, so we're going to take the pigeon off right here and then put on the DJ Yonder one as we queue into this and see what it looks like in Rocket League while we're here. We may as well just check it out. So where is it? It's down here. Yonder's crown. There it is. Let's put it on. All right, we've got it equipped and we are set to go. So we're heading into the game mode. We're into the final game and this is simply the final game and this is probably the most funnest one and also the quickest. Now I'd recommend playing all the way through this game. I don't 100% recommend backing out because because it doesn't forfeit because you're with a team so it might not class it as a third game but if it does class it you're pretty much set so this is your third game now and you're heading in and you're basically just rocking around and just trying your best to score one goal if you need it any clears and that if you need them but simply i've just got to play this game mode and score one goal so that's not going to be that hard on this ltm this ltm is super easy so this is the one where you get your superpowers if you've never played it before and it's a really cool ltm it's probably the best one as well for the full five minute and no replays where well, i say that is because replays take up like 10 seconds each goal which adds time onto your time spent on rocket league and you're probably wondering about why are you trying to rush it so much i don't know i just want to try and make the fastest guide for you guys so replays are annoying but there isn't as many replays on this one because there isn't as many goals scored due to the superpowers whereas if you're on a different ltm like the, the spike grab one there's like you score a goal almost every like 20 seconds which can be very frustrating if there's constant replays and you have people that like to watch the replays which i did in this game but you know there isn't that many goals so let's skip ahead a little bit. I'll show you guys me getting a few goals on this LTM and just generally just me playing some good plays and getting my final goal and then towards the end of the game. And then we'll check out the challenges of what they actually look like in Fortnite and give you guys a little review. Do you actually need these or not? Okay, so here are my highlights from that game. They're pretty easy. There's some nice goals just coming in, carrying my team, kinder, I guess, which I thought was really cool. So the ball gets played up in the air like that. I try and get myself in a nice position and just kind of like plod it in like that. The guy tries, saves in it with his magnet, but actually fails. So the magnet does not save the goal. And I get the goal, and that's basically all the goals I needed in this situation. Kind of a nice goal from me there as well. It wasn't like too difficult. You know, just nice placement, especially for the mode with all the power-ups. I think it's quite difficult to get goals on, but... You know, you can also use the power-ups to get gold if you get a good power-up. And then, again, I also get another goal off the bat right here, which you're going to see. The ball gets played up nicely again to the same sort of position, to be honest. I'm trying to just line myself up. I can see it there nicely. I'm just going to go for a hit on the back of my car, go for a big boot in the corner, and in it goes. I even had a power-up to smash it in as well if it missed. And we are basically much pretty much set right there you know what i mean we absolutely wrecked them in that situation and now we are ready just to get out of this game we're going to skip ahead and we are going to go and see the rewards inside of fortnite so we've completed everything we've got 10 seconds left of this game we're set to go we're just going to keep the ball in play just to let you know as well when the ball's in the air it does actually keep the counter going so it doesn't actually end the ball has to be on the ground so try and get the ball on the ground if you can there was one game i've played in the past where this went on for like four minutes because with absolute sweat but let's get out of there. We won that. We can go over to our challenges again. And you can see we've got our last two to claim right here. We've got our five goals. We already claimed our free match one because mine one glitched and actually counted a match early before the timer. But that's okay. That's another topic entirely. But you can see, obviously, we've got the five goal assist one here. We're going to claim that. That gives you this awesome camo as well uh, for your card, a decal, which is cool, which is the Llama Yonder's fleece which is really nice as well as the online match reward as well for the extraordinary uh banner or title should i say so you basically sat right there and now it's time to head over to fortnite and check out what these rewards actually look like i've already completed these 15 minutes into the release which is insane and you guys can also do that as well by using these tips in this video but we're heading over to fortnite right now we're loading in we're in fortnite let's check it out what these actually look like and then we'll pop into game and take a little look so here we are oh no not this ad friend things again this has been doing that since like season five here we are the zooming the battle ball We've also got the everybody dance, the turbo ball, which is just 
amazing. Wow, I love the Turbo Ball Bat Bling. That's probably the best thing about all this set. We'll check out the wrap, the music pack and the spray and the loading screen in a second and the ball all in game. And that's obviously the loading screen. So we've got them rewards claimed. Let's go over to our locker and make sure we've got these equipped. Okay, the locker there. We've got the wrap equipped. We've got the music pack equipped. We'll take a little listen to that as well. Let's have a little listen to that now quickly. There you had a little preview of the music pack. You can also see we've got the loading screen right here as we're loading into our Battle Lab game to test out all of these cosmetics. And now we've unlocked them, it's time to see what they look like in game. So, wow, look at that bat bling. It's quite a big bat bling, and I think the rolling feature would make it quite hard for competitive players to use. But for us casuals who love Rocket League as well, this bat bling has got to be a go to for us. I really like it. It's a cool ball, and it's nice how they've implemented it into Fortnite as well. You're landing in as well. You can also check out the wrap here on this shotgun. It's kind of nice i think i think it's quite cool let's see if we can check out another weapon as well oh, i don't think i put it on my snipers no i didn't that's okay though you can see it on the shotgun and what we'll do is we'll grab a boat over here as well check out the spray okay it didn't work why does the spray never work on the first spray there we have the ball spray as well which is cool which is like the fortnite uh, ball for, not fortnite ball sorry the rocket league ball it'd be nice if they added the rocket league ball into creative you know it's such a cool ball see if there's any other weapons in here any ars anything no there isn't all right let's head over to the boats and see what it looks like on the boat the wrap it's kind of a cool wrap to be honest it's not my favorite rap but it's free isn't it technically if you spend 15 minutes on rocket league doing the challenges so you're pretty much set there let's check it out on the boat though and see what it looks like in game let's grab our boat there we are boat equipped you can see we've got our kind of i guess yellow and like a kind of metallic black which is pretty cool so you've got like the mixture of that on here to kind of shine from it and it looks pretty cool on the boat to be honest it looks better on the weapons than it does on the boat i wouldn't use it as my vehicle camo but i might actually use it as my weapon wrap for a little bit i don't know 100 percent, but if this guy did help you guys don't forget to pop code postbox pat in your item shop i really do hope it did help you and also you can pop it into your rocket league store as well when you're over there if you're purchasing anything for rocket league season three hope you guys have enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe and once again this is postbox Pat, signing out.